Hi everybody, I'm Lonnie with Everything Nature. Today, we are at Mohawk Park and we are going to be exploring, looking for cool things, animals, plants, and fun stuff like that. So stay tuned. All right, so before we get started, just want to go over a few of our necessities when you are out in the woods exploring. You're definitely going to want your field guides. So if you see anything that you don't know what it is, you can find out what it is. Uh, you definitely want a camera, something not too heavy and bulky because you're going to have to carry it around. And of course, binoculars. So that if you see something cool that's, you know, not super close because wild animals don't like you to be super close, you can see them better, of course. Shall we get started? Yes, we should. Well, come on! <laughs> He's the exact same color as the mud. <laughs> this is some sort of water snake. I will admit I'm really bad at telling all the different kinds of water snakes apart. Um, and I'm not going to try to catch him because even though he's not venomous, they have kind of a bad attitude. He would probably still bite and they smell really, really terrible. So we're just going to look at him. Say hi, little snake, and hope that he can go catch some frogs and fish and delicious things like that. I think they're gnat catchers, maybe? Thank you, my little bitty. Actually, this is one of my nuts. What? <laughs> yes, I think this is Zia's nut, actually. I was just saying, darn, I forgot my net. What if we find a frog? Zia, you left your net out here. Good job. So we're going to be going in here to look for the nesting swans. Now, this is incredibly rare for swans to be living this far south here in Oklahoma. So we're going to be really careful because we don't want to stress them out and make them feel like they're not safe here uh, so that they'll leave. We want them to nest here. We want them to raise their adorable little baby cygnets here. So maybe they'll come back next year. Um, so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be really careful and really quiet. So we're gonna sneak up on them. We did find some really cool beaver chews over here. You can see this big willow tree here. Got chewed down a while ago. Although this one right here, they're, it looks to me like they're still working on it because those bite marks look pretty fresh on there. So there are definitely beavers around here. We did, there is one lodge over there, and then there's another one over on the side. We'll just get by there and go check out. See. You see the little bullfrog there? I'm pretty sure it's a bullfrog anyways. He's just a baby. It's kind of funny because the Bullfrog tadpoles are actually bigger than the baby bullfrogs. This one there? Probably. So this is probably the male swan. Because hopefully the female is still on her nest somewhere. Because while she's sitting there incubating the eggs, the male will kind of just swim around and be her bodyguard because a male swan protecting his nest is a pretty formidable opponent. They, uh, they can beat you with their wings and they can bite pretty hard too. So you really don't want to mess with them. Oh, oh. a mouse! <laughs> Holy crap! That's funny. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Well, there's probably something. There's probably a lot of good grub in there. Yeah. As long as he doesn't become someone else's grub. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> of all my years exploring, 
I don't think I've ever seen a wild mouse. They're so good at hiding over there. Oh, wait till someone stick his head out again. There he is, though. He's very quick, obviously. I thought about that this day in here. Right. Oh, look, a green snake. That's a rough green snake. They usually are up in the trees and stuff, so that's kind of funny to see him down on the ground. I wonder if I can grab him. He's like, no. There we go. He's so wiggly. Hold still. These are like one of the snakes I'm totally not scared to ever pick up because I don't think I've ever had one even try to bite me. And if you were to try to bite, I don't think it would hurt very much. Look how stinking cute he is. And he's called a rough green snake because he has keeled scales. So that makes his scales kind of rough feeling. And these guys like to eat bugs and worms and things like that. All right, let's put him back in this tree. Hi, little rough green snake. Yes. Oh, now my hands stink. <laughs> well, I think we had a pretty successful little hike. Uh, we did see a couple of snakes. We saw several frogs, a few different duck species, we did see our swan! Yay! Um, we saw lots of evidence of beavers, but no actual beavers. Lots of tadpoles, crawdads, all kinds of cool fun things. Well, I hope you guys get a chance to go out and do some hiking of your own. See what you can see. And if you do see anything cool, you should send us pictures. That would be an awesome idea. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Everything Nature. If you love learning about cool naturey things, please like this video and subscribe to Everything Nature. Thank you very much!